All right, so now after you're done with the improvisation section, like I said, I'm going to talk about that whole section after this video. But once you're done in the song with the improv section, um, what you're going to end up doing is you're basically going to go uh, into, uh, into this. All right, actually, it's just going to be this. And then at that point, you go back into the intro. So. And then. And then it's just going to end. All right? So it ends a nice tight ending like that. Oops. So, and then that will be the end of the song. Now, if you wanted to kind of elongate it a little bit more, what you could do is after the solo section, so after you go, rather than going back into the intro, you could go back to that A section again. But like I said, this is uh, viewed more as an exercise than actually as a song that you're going to necessarily play out on a gig. But take this if you want, and you want to try and come up with your own composition from this, you can mess around with this. You could also, rather than going to the A section, go back to the intro, and then go into the A section, and basically play the whole song again, all right? And then when you want to end it, just play that intro section again. And then, and then end it short right on that F. Whoops. Okay. Um, You'll have the MIDI file that you can slow down and you can, you know, view the notes on the virtual keyboard uh, using that. Um, transpose it as well if you want to. So remember the basic point of the song is to really get down those Montunos hands together and to start to take what you've learned in clave and Montunos and Montunos and progressions and put it to some practical use. And we're also going to do some improvisation. All right, so now, uh, this point, let me move forward and let me talk about some improvisation. Uh, that you can do over this progression. So I'll see you in the improv section.